welcome to our Middles Art Project, Ocean in a Bottle. I'm Sandy, and you should have already picked up your take and make bag, which has all the contents you'll need to make your own little ocean that you can keep with you at all times. In that take and make bag, you're going to find a bottle, a spoon, and then you will also have a bag of water beads and some ocean animals. And that's what we'll need to get started, plus a little bit of water from your sink. The first step to making our ocean in a bottle is to take the plastic bag that's included in your take and make kit and you're going to open that and open it over a bowl because the little beads will run all over the place. And you just want to empty this out into a bowl. We've got a small styrofoam bowl here for example, but you'll want a pretty big bowl. And what you're going to want to do is take that bowl, dump the contents of this baggie in the bowl, and then you're going to cover the beads and the animals with water. And you don't have to leave the animals in there if you don't want to, but it's not going to hurt anything if you do. So cover your bigger bowl with water. You want to let it set for at least four hours and that will give these tiny little beads time to absorb the water and expand so that they get bigger, like this. Um, and these will be what we're going to put in our bottle to make our ocean in a bottle. So once you've let your bowl of beads sit for at least four, four hours, you can then start assembling your bottle. So you're gonna take the cap off your bottle and you can put your animals in first if you want or you can put your beads in first, it doesn't matter. You just take your, if you're gonna start with your beads, just take your spoon and just get a spoonful of beads and put them in the bottle. And they're going to be kind of bouncy and a lot bigger than they were when you first poured water over them. And just put as many beads or all of your beads in your bottle. Just keep taking them out of the bowl and filling up your bottle. And if one starts bouncing away, you just pick him up and put him in your bottle. And just keep doing that until you're happy with the amount of beads in your bottle. And you can cut here if you want. Once you are happy with the level of beads in your jar, we'll move on to the next step of putting your um, sea creatures in. If you have any leftover beads, you can play with them. Um, you can dump the water, let them dry out, and reuse them another time. I, wouldn't, I would just caution you that if you do lose a few while you're filling your bottle and they roll on the floor, try to make sure and get them picked up so that any younger kids or animals in your house don't get a hold of them and eat them. But now that we're happy with the amount of beads, we'll just go ahead and put our sea creatures in. Most of them should fit nicely by just dropping in like this. If you have to kind of squeeze a leg um, that sticks out, just kind of pinch it together and drop it in. There's all different kinds of sea creatures in your take and make bags. They're all different. And so once you get all your creatures in, and again, if you just kind of have to twist it, then you want to get your water 
from your kitchen or bathroom sink. You could take your bottle right to the faucet if you would like. I don't have a faucet handy, so I'm going to take the pitcher and just pour the water in. Just pour it in right up to the neck of the bottle. And then put the lid on it. And just make sure you put the lid on tight so that when you shake your bottle up and down, you don't get um, water every place. But then just kind of shake your bottle and watch your sea creatures float around in there. Thank you for joining us today for the Middles Art Ocean in a Bottle project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any video or still pictures of you doing the project, we'd love to see them and you can share that at the email address on the screen. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye!